What's good YouTube, LJ here from LJ Films and welcome to this tutorial. I uh, just so wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to settle this problem that I'm actually going through. Uh, I understand a lot of you guys click on this video because of that reason. So here's a problem actually that I occurred in my recent project. Check this out guys. When I first open a project, let's find that file, boom, open. And this was the message that I got. This project was saved in a newer version of Adobe Premiere and cannot be open in this version. Uh, which basically means that the project that was saved was an, a newer version of Premiere CC, which was the 2015. And if you're using a lower version of Premiere, um, you cannot actually access the Premiere file which was saved in a newer version. So this is a problem that actually occurred because I needed to make some few revisions in my edit but it wouldn't allow me to do. So basically I lost it right there and I uh, was figuring out all this um, resources online and found a solution for you guys and just wanted to share that real quickly with you. So this is what you need to do guys. You need to access the project file with the version you've saved in. Check this out. Okay, let's pretend the project that I'm working on right now here is the CC 2015 version. And you want able to save this so I can move to a lower version of Premiere Pro. So here's what you do guys, very simple. Go to edit, click select all, control A in PC, command A in Mac, go to file, export, Final Cut Pro XML. And this window would pop up and save your project file. As for demonstration of this tutorial, I'm gonna name this project file as number three. Let's click save, bam, there you go. Click OK. So guys, that's actually pretty much it. Uh, you need to save it in a Final Cut Pro XML file for you to be able to access on a lower version of Premiere Pro. Now, keep in mind that all the project files that you're working on on the sequence are saved within the same footage folders in your hard drive, just so when you open it in a lower version of Premiere Pro, everything is in sync. So with that said, let's open a new project. Let's call this number three for the sake of this tutorial. Click OK. Now we're here in a new Premiere Pro project file. What you do is double click on the project file, Control I, Command I, import your file, go to your project folder, and let's click number three, the project file we've saved. Click open, and it's going to do its thing, import its file, and boom. There you have it guys. All the files and footages that was used in a higher Premiere Pro version is all synced and ready to be edited on this project file. So, this is the sequence. Let's open that up. Boom. It's gonna take a while because my computer is a bit lagging from all the screen capturing, but there you go. All the project file is within here and ready to rock and roll. So, there you guys have it. Simple solution for you to be able to access a project file that was saved in a higher version of Adobe Premiere. Um, hope this video was helpful and make sure to click subscribe and share it with your friends. It's a great workaround to know whenever this happens to you. Saves you time, saves you the day, and you will get paid. So there you guys have it, guys. And real quick, also, uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I produce a tutorial contents like this on a weekly basis. And as well, make sure to check out this Deadpool tutorial that I've made for Premiere Pro. It's a free preset available for you to download. Fucking awesome. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all take care.